Hey, we should get Billy Connolly in for this next story. The story yes. of the, the day, definitely. He's uh, Yeah. God, he did our show, I don't know. A while ago, next time he was very, Way very too young. long ago. And yeah. then I think we got a phoner from him. Yeah, we love this guy. Billy Connolly is hilarious. You know Billy, right? mm-hmm. And he fits in perfectly with this radio show. Yes. And he, he had uh, that observation about how we just beat up our listeners, and he thinks it's brilliant. <laughs> does, he know we're, does he know we're on XM? We're not on XM right now, so we can't curse? Yeah. Uh, oh, I, well, <laughs> well, you know, it would be good if in the green room, maybe so somebody... Billy! Hey, Billy. <laughs> there he is. The hey, down, Billy. The gathering of the work shy. How are you? Good, good. Come on, sit down. Can really? I take a seat? We figured we'd get you in because we're about to do the story of the morning, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. What? I saw you all in the news. You're oh like... yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was uh, us accepting the Nobel Peace Prize, yeah, I wasn't believe. It? Yeah. <laughs> it, was chain gang. it was that one. <laughs> you were phoning somebody. You're always preoccupied. <laughs> 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 Nothing beats the phony phone call. That was a phony phone call. When you don't want to draw I, I, attention I will admit to it. If you ever don't want to draw attention to yourself in any situation, uh, regardless if it's news cameras or just at a party or something, you take out your cell phone and just start blathering into it. It's a wonderful thing. It's great a because people won't talk to you when you're on the cell phone. You no, know it's funny? I took a phone call and Ann took a phone call while they were filming us. I did mine first. And uh, I didn't know that you did it first and then I, I said, hey, uh, you know, I, I I took a fake phone call there. Goes, oh, Dude, I did the same thing. We should have just called each other <laughs> right, and just started move. chatting about our walk. An old actor told me once on, this, on the, the, the set, he said, if you don't want anybody to talk to you, if you're looking at your script or something, you don't want people to bother you, put your tongue out. Really? Yeah, if you're re- you're reading your script, you put your, stick your tongue out. People don't approach you when your tongue is sticking out. Yeah, your tongue out. is a sort of barrier. That... It must be something like I'm really concentrating, yeah. or it's just it must send some weird signal. Or it's intrusive know? that now that tongue that's just kind of relaxing and hanging out is going to have to be used if I come over. Yeah, and it's like kind of fleshy talking. warning. No. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> a fleshy <laughs> warning, no. isn't it? It's kind of. You know what I do when I go yeah. to the gym now? I uh, I wear the iPods. Uh-huh. Uh, you know the the buds or whatever and it's attached to nothing the other end is just in my pocket <laughs> I, swear to, I swear to god no one bothers you though man oh, no that's I, oh that is a good one on days i don't feel like listening to music i just i still put the buds in my ears and i and it's just uh you know dangling in my pocket the, attached to nothing the, the last time i was home in scotland i, the, I saw a couple in the street a, a young guy in his 20s with his wife and she was pushing a baby in a chair but he had the, the ipod on I thought he's walking along with his wife and his kid. <laughs> uh, and doesn't even want to talk no. to them or hear anything they he's have to say. To I thought that was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> that that I, marriage is doomed to last forever. Yeah. <laughs> I use the phone for a lot of things. My cell phone, like if, if I'm walking down the sidewalk here in the city and uh, there's somebody, I just don't like people behind me when I'm walking. Like, if they're right behind me, if I could see a little out of my peripheral vision, I, oh, I'm okay. Yeah. But right behind me kind of freaks me out a little. Uh-huh. So I'll take my phone out and make like I dialed and start talking and step to the side and stop. Because I think, like, I, c- I could do it without the phone. But if I do, then I'm thinking, that person's going to think that I'm stopping to let them pass me because I don't trust them behind me. Yeah. When the fact is, that's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> but if I pull the phone out, it's like, I'm making a phone call. Yeah. Don't worry, just pass me. I could do this without you yeah. feeling do you know, that I'm you know, being prejudiced or something. You know what I've done on the phone? I swear to God, I've gotten weird vibes. I've actually been on, like, faked on the phone and said, look, I can see your window. I know. Like, oh, like, like they're look, watching you like, so you don't uh, get attacked? Yeah. Oh, is that horrible? Yeah, I, I really have a douche. <laughs> <laughs> One day, our phones are all going to just get snatched from us. Yeah. We're pulling them out for safety. <laughs> That's wonderful. Hey, thing. nice phone. <laughs> all right, we got, we got to do story of the morning. Yeah, this one and, is... and it's not Paris Hilton, whatever. That's, no. That's going on. We talked what about it already. She, uh, a lot of outrage that she's been uh, let out very, very early and now is under house arrest in her mansion. I wish it was Paris Hilton. That would have been interesting, a 911 call about how a tractor trailer is leaving a slug trail behind it. <laughs> <laughs> you hear about wheelchair kid on the front of a, uh, a semi? No. no. This oh. is a freak accident <laughs> that could never happen. Like, it was a perfect chain of events. I don't know if they describe how it happened in the story I or... It, I think the kid was... We got the news story to, to bring everyone it, up to speed, but I think he was trying to cross the street. trying to cross the street, and uh, you know how tractor trailers have to make the uh, the wide kind of turns yes, around yes, there, yes. and he, he couldn't see over the front of his cab, 
and actually bumped into the kid in the wheelchair, yeah. but hit it directly in the back of the wheelchair, and then got around the turn and cranked up to 50 miles an hour. <laughs> the kid is yeah, sitting dude. in the wheelchair no. on the front grill of this semi doing Flying. 50 miles an hour. Well, you, oh, did you what? hear the update with that, though? It turns out that the truck was off and the kid was just wheeling and was very strong. <laughs> <laughs> what a strong kid. How far did, how far did he go? Five, five miles. miles. If you see About five miles. Actually, he made it to the toll booth, and they wanted yeah. him to pay extra for the extra axle. <laughs> and that's when he knew that something was amiss. I saw the story, <laughs> and I, I saw the kid. Yeah. yeah. And I'm thinking it, it, it's going to turn out to be the greatest day of his life. Yeah. Well, is, is A lot he, of people are like, well, can't believe it happened. But he, I think in the kid's he's eyes, he's like, yeah. this is the coolest the thing that will ever happen to me. He's yeah. uninjured and all that. Yeah, yeah. It, not, he wasn't even injured. And the chair is fine. Yeah. And, he, and it he was, just like flew. 50 miles an hour down the highway just in, in his wheelchair. What? You know what a rush Brilliant. that would be like? No seatbelt. Oh. He had dead bugs all over his <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> His teeth. <laughs> Seven inches of dead bugs. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Well, here's the story uh, to bring everyone up to speed. And then what we got, which up is... Up to speed. Good one. Yeah, there you go. And uh, <laughs> what we got, which is different than uh, anyone else talking about, we got the 911 call. 911 call, where hilarious. you'll notice when you, you'll notice the 911 call. Some people are cut out to handle uh, catastrophes on 911. They know yes. how to get the facts out, very calm, cool, collected, and other people lose their minds. Oh, you mean people actually can't, at the accident? Yeah, they, they, no, they, they saw, they, 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 they were standing on the by. side of the road, uh, yeah. saw the tractor trailer, <laughs> and, and they're sitting there going like, oh my God, there's a wheelchair on the front of this with some kid <laughs> flailing his arms. Who's going to believe you? I, I, exactly. I would think it was like a movie stunt or something. I wouldn't give yeah. it a second thought. I'd be like, ah, especially be like, there's no way that just happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would yeah. think it's a hood ornament or something. <laughs> 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 All right, here, here's the news story. It's quick. A Michigan man in a wheelchair got the fright of his life when a semi-truck took him on a wild ride. Ben Carpenter was crossing the street when the handlebars of his wheelchair got stuck in the truck's grill. The truck driver then pulled out without realizing he had an unwilling passenger, and he headed down a highway at 50 miles an hour. Oh, the that's driver brilliant. driver called 911, and four miles later, a cop stopped Four the truck. miles? <laughs> He oh, went oh, oh, four that's miles. That's far, man. That's a long, long. Do you way. know how that long a... that is for him sitting there? It must have been like this has to be an hour. This has to be an hour <laughs> that went by. The trucker, like probably a lot of people are beeping at him and stuff. He's like, yeah. oh, why is everyone oh, beeping at what me? What is your problem? He's just yeah, like, exactly. oh, yeah, you too. I know how this goes. <laughs> 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 yeah, right back at you. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you, you bunch of asses. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, all right, I'll let him buy. <laughs> go ahead, go around me, idiot. <laughs> and the cop pulled him over. And he's like, get off the chair. Come out with your hands up. <laughs> Here, here's the rest of the story. A cop stopped the truck. Well, it was pretty scary. It was, well, I was saying help, yeah. So I, was, I was saying I know, help. Nobody can hear me <laughs> Amazingly, Ben was not That's hurt, wonderful. and his wheelchair survived the entire ride without any damage. <laughs> oh I love his God. voice. Help. Uh, I, I, was I was saying, saying help. help. You were inhaling help. No, <gasps> yeah. 50 miles an hour. And no help. one heard him over. Help. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Help. Help. People were going, hey, he's already in a wheelchair. What's the big deal? Oh, <laughs> God. Yeah. It's going to try to do correct oh. sign. I know. Oh. <laughs> you think this song went through his head? <laughs> 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 Little Jerry Reed from Smokey and the Bandit. Oh, <laughs> now, on. we got to get this cripple. From Texarkana <laughs> to Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> oh my That's God. That's right. And of course, a Jackie Gleason song passed by. That's an attention getter. <laughs> it certainly is. What we're dealing with here is a complete lack of respect for the law. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby. Oh, my God. <laughs> you got to see the video, though. I mean, yeah. when you see this kid, you're going to realize this will be the greatest day of his life. Yeah. It was wow, the be the greatest scary. day of my life. <laughs> hey, uh, breaker, breaker, and old turnip leg grill. Breaker, breaker. <laughs> You had to see the smoke coming from his hand and the wheels. The wheels. <laughs> I still love the bizarre hood ornament. That's <laughs> Rich Voss. Uh, yeah, that's Rich Voss. Oh, the, uh, God. Oh, he's playing so uh, Stress, Stress Factor this rate. weekend. Tomorrow. And, well, t- tonight and tomorrow. <laughs> New Brunswick. Oh, my God. Well, uh, this is only the first part of the story. So then the 911 calls come in. We should probably take a break or we're going to rush through this. Yeah, we got to get the 911 calls. Yeah, because they're, they're just terrific. Terrific. They really are. And then we'll check in with uh, Danny and Sam. They're out there with Patty. Start yeah, with Patty. She's having a birthday shopping spree today. On us. Mm-hmm. I forgot to give my money, though. Oh, what are the Does odds? Does she have enough money? <laughs> no, I, 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 I've gotten better, Rich. She's got 50 bucks. Uh, yeah, but that was 40. Just- By the way, did you make the egg salad sandwiches? <laughs> well, I no. Mean, when we you off. made them? Yeah, why not? I make Yeah. I, you know, uh, I cook. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <I'm> not- <laughs> We were, uh, Billy, we were playing golf recently, and uh, and Rich uh, packed me a nice little lunch to have after nine holes. An yeah, egg salad sandwich. Well, I'm not going to bring my own sandwich. And Rich not bring is cheap. <laughs> Am I <laughs> cheap? You're cheap. No, he's not. That's cheap. You got to go in and get something at the clubhouse. I did. I insulted him because I'm like, I ain't. I'm, I don't like egg salad. It's 95 not, degrees out, so I got a nice grilled chicken sandwich, and he was insulted. <laughs> what are you, his grandmother? You I was like his date son. or something, man. <laughs> oh, that's what. Because I, I did. I ate it, and I was like, why was there an extra egg salad? I don't uh, know. Yeah. I'm cheap, oh, I'm you cheap. ate it after it sat in like a golf yeah. bag in the heat for. And then I fainted later that. Yeah. No wonder you fainted. <laughs> yeah, but he had like little like uh, little trail mix snacks and little uh, napkin yeah, for each has, sandwich. He has a little cooler. A little, cooler, a little, a little, uh, little drinky. I think it was like a sippy cup drink for us. <laughs> First of yeah, all. A little checkerboard uh, sheet so you could set up a picnic. <laughs> I, I, I brought a basket. <laughs> I'm it was very thoughtful. I did uh, return. Uh, tell him that. Uh, All right, we gotta take a break. Uh, <laughs> you, you guys organize. Which goes and... into a story. All right, we'll no, take no, a no, break. No, 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 no. And Billy Connolly, what are we promoting today? A zombie movie. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, my new zombie movie comes out on the fifteenth. It's called Fido. Fido? Yeah, that's my name in it. I'm, a, I'm like a boy's dog. I'm his pet. A f- a f- the family pet is a zombie. All right, we're gonna talk about that <laughs> a little more. I'm reading a little too. synopsis of it. It looks good. <laughs> Very interesting. It was we had a, a screening the other night and it was brilliant. Really? It, it went down a storm. Yeah, it's a very it's a comedy with zombies in it. It's not it's not a zombie movie. You know, you can't go wrong with zombies. I, that's what I always People say. People love zombies, man. There's a whole zombie culture. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know about it until I had to do the interview. <laughs> yeah. Zombie magazines. And People clubs. love zombies. Yeah, and they show up like zombies at the movie with the big holes in the head and all that. <laughs> no, they're all eight fans. <laughs> yeah, that's just, just our fans. They just want to say hi. Uh, all right, we got so much going on. Why don't we take a break? We'll regroup. And uh, don't forget these $10 tickets for the Jones Beach Show, yes. which is a week from tomorrow. Eight or nine com- nine comedians for $10. It's a, it's a, it's a, a special. We don't have many. But they go on sale at 9 a.m. through uh, Ticketmaster. And it's brought to you by Bud Light, always worth it. It's Opie and Anthony.